Sydney's Rugby League Grand Final. A record crowd of over 78,000 and a city gripped by final fever. Police have to close the gates and thousands miss the start of St George's bid to win 10 grand finals in a row. South Sydney are going to make it pretty tough and actually score first points with a penalty goal. Kevin Ryan tries to break through but McCarthy brings him down. It's rugged football with occasional bursts of speed. Like this one. Both teams are defending magnificently. Jim Lyle of Souths is floored by Rasmussen and then St George break through for the first time. It's a try to Smith and the Saints are ahead. The huge crowd goes wild and when Langlands converts, the champions are leading five points to two. St George is winning a bigger share of the ball and always look dangerous. Souths are trying hard but the Saints cover defense is magnificent. Saints have the ball again, but Brannigan halts any advance. Nearing the end of the first half and there's nothing in it. A penalty to Longbottom makes it 5-4 at the interval and there hasn't been any let up in the pace. It's a close grand final. The crowd expects fireworks and they're not disappointed. Second rower Elton Rasmussen breaks away and sends left winger Johnny King over to score in the corner. King's played six grand finals for St George and he's scored a try in each of them. The Saints lead 12-6 and though South score another penalty goal, they can't cross the St George line. It's 12-8 when the final whistle blows. Saints captain coach Norm Proven has played his last game, but what a way to retire. He's led St George to a world record in major club football.